When I was very young and I was reading, like most writers, I'm a voracious reader, I used to look at the author names and it would have New York Times bestseller on the top and I would say, that's what I want to be one day. And at the time, I actually didn't understand what that meant because I was quite young. And then the day I got the phone call to say that I had actually hit the New York Times list, that was, I can't even describe it. It just felt like the culmination of so many things. It wasn't so much I've made it, it was a dream coming true at that moment and it really felt so huge. The first one that was published, that has a place in my heart that, that is, you know, it's just always going to be there because it was the first time I ever saw my name on a book and it was Desert Warrior, which is published what, over 10 years ago now. And um, yeah, when I pick up that book, I, I still get that feeling I got you know, the first time I ever saw a copy. It's astonishing and wonderful and giddy. And yeah, I think I danced around the room and I showed it to everyone and said, look, my name's on the book. <laughs> yeah. I can never predict which character is going to catch people's attention. So I write shapeshifters, you know, changelings. And I have a side character in the series called Tejan, and he's a rat. He's the alpha of the rat changelings. And I never thought anyone would want, I mean, cause you know, it's not sexy, the, the rat changeling. And I never thought anyone would, you know, want to see more of him, but people are like, he's so awesome. You should write his book. And I'm like, what? <laughs> but yeah, he has this, like, he has his own fan club. So I think that was, that's been interesting. So yeah, I'm quite often surprised by who catches people's attention. For the Guild Hunter series, always get asked, when are Elena and Raphael having a baby? That is the number one question I get asked, and the answer is not anytime soon. <laughs> For me, you know, the passion to write comes from within, but going forward after a publication, it's been my readers. You know, the people who write to me, leave reviews, or just let me know that something I've written has had an impact on that. I don't think I can quantify that in any way. It's so important. Um, like today, someone said to me, reading you gives me, you know, hope. And I thought, wow, that's, that's so powerful. It's Petunia. I plant Petunias every summer because they only last a season. Um, and I just love how bright and cheerful and homey they are. They're just, yeah, I put them on my balcony and they just make everything happy. Actually, the last one I binged watch, I rewatched Star Trek Voyager from, from start to finish. So it was, yeah, it was that. <laughs> well, aside from chocolate, I actually eat a lot of fruit. I do really love, I actually just like fruit. And recently I'm really into mango. It's so delicious. And I can't get this in New Zealand um, because it's a bit too cold. Um, the ones you get are not as sweet, but I love guava. So whenever I go to some place that is, you know, warm and has guavas, I'm, I just buy like 10 and eat them. I'd like to thank my readers. You guys are amazing, wonderful people. And because you love my books, I get to do what I love for a living. So thank you so much. And I hope you keep coming with me on this journey.